Proverbs 10, 30 The Exodus Hard Walk Proverbs 10, 30 The righteous will never be shaken, but the wicked will not live in the land. Many people want to go to heaven, Christian and non, but how will they get there? The Israelites were happy when Moses told them the Lord would free them from slavery in Aked and take them to the promised land that is flowing with milk and honey, but not many enter. The Israelites and the Aktian both seen God do many miracles in the book of Exodus, and the Jewish people continues to see the Lord do miracle after miracle in between the books of Leviticus to Deuteronomy, but still, yet they lack faith, and not many made it to the promised land. The Pharaoh king of Egypt had seen enough of God's power, and told Moses to take the Lord's people please leave as your God wants them to be freed, so please leave. Exodus 12, 37 And the people of Israel journeyed from Ramesses to Sukkot, about 600,000 men on foot, besides women and children. Numbers 32, 12 Except Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, and Joshua the son of Nun, for they have followed the Lord fully. 13 So the Lord's anger burned against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness for forty years, until the entire generation of those who had done evil in the sight of the Lord came to an end. The Lord answers the prayers of the Israelites to help leave the bondage of slavery, but yet they were unhappy, unfaithful, and disobeyed him over and over, so out of millions of slaves that have left with only two that enter the promised land. Only two that were actually former slaves Caleb and Joshua enter the promised land, the others were children that were born in the wilderness, which was still many people. Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew that the gate that leads to destruction is wide, but many will choose it, cause the gate to life is narrow, and very difficult, so it is easy to see why many Israelites died in the wilderness. Matthew 7, 13 Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter through it. 14 For the gate is narrow, and the way is constricted that leads to life, and there are few who find it. Many believers of God say they walk by faith and not by sight, but the evidence speaks for itself. Many want the promises of God here and now, they want heaven here and now, that is why many Christian and non-believers say hell is here and now, but they have no real idea. The righteous and wicked right now both receive blessings from God. All creations receive oxygen to breathe, or food to eat, friends or family to love and be loved. The real hell is outside the presence of God when you or I know God or have a strong foundation with Him, we die cause of spiritual suicide. On the day of judgment, when only the righteous receive the kingdom of heaven, both sides will kneel can confess Jesus is Lord. When the wicked see they were foolish in their belief they will know they deserve death, cause they lived their life, denying their Maker and God. God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you and so do I, Samuel J. H. Isaiah 45, 22 Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is no other. 23 I have sworn by myself, the word has gone out from my mouth in righteousness, and will not turn back, that to me every knee will bow, every tongue will swear allegiance. 24 They will say of me, only in the Lord are righteousness and strength. People will come to him, and all who were angry at him will be put to shame.